oceans as climate change indicators. The world's seas, which cover over 70% of the Earth's surface, have a two-way link with weather and climate. The seas influence weather on a local to global scale, and changes in climate can fundamentally alter many ocean features. This chapter looks at how some of the ocean's most important properties have altered over time. What is the significance of this? As greenhouse gases trap more solar energy, the oceans absorb more heat, resulting in higher sea surface temperatures and rising sea level. Changes in ocean temperatures and currents caused by climate change will cause changes in global climate patterns. Warmer waters, for example, may stimulate the development of stronger storms in the tropics, causing property damage and loss of life. The consequences of rising sea levels and higher storm surges are especially significant to coastal populations. Although the oceans assist to mitigate climate change by storing vast amounts of carbon dioxide, rising dissolved carbon levels are altering the chemistry of salt water and making it more acidic. Certain creatures, such as corals and shellfish, find it more difficult to develop their skeletons and shells when ocean acidification increases. These changes, in turn, have the potential to significantly alter the biodiversity and productivity of ocean ecosystems. Oceans Changes in water systems typically occur over far longer time scales than changes in the atmosphere, where storms can arise and dissipate in a single day. Interactions between the oceans and the atmosphere take months to years, as does water movement within the oceans, including the mixing of deep and shallow waters. As a result, trends can last for decades, centuries, or even millennia. As a result, even if greenhouse gas emissions were to be stabilized tomorrow, it would take many more years decades to centuries for the oceans to respond to already occurring changes in the atmosphere and climate. Key Point Synthesis Heat from the Sea According to four independent studies, the quantity of heat stored in the ocean has increased significantly since the 1950s. The heat content of the ocean influences not only sea surface temperature but also sea level and currents. Temperature at the sea surface During the 20th century, global ocean surface temperatures rose. Even with some year-to-year -year variants, the underlying trend is obvious, and sea surface temperatures have been consistently higher over the last three decades than at any other period since reliable records began in the late 1800s. The Sea Level Since 1880, sea level has risen at a pace of around six-tenths of an inch per decade when averaged across all of the world's oceans. In recent years, the pace of growth has quickened to more than an inch each decade. Changes in sea level relative to land vary according to geography. Sea level has increased the highest throughout the U.S. shoreline, especially along the Mid-Atlantic and Gulf coasts, where numerous sites recorded increases of more than 8 inches between 1960 and 2020. In portions of Alaska and the Pacific Northwest, sea level has risen relative to land. Ocean as climate change a closer look at land loss on the Atlantic coast dry land and wetlands may become submerged as sea levels rise. This problem is exacerbated along many portions of the Atlantic coast by low elevations and sinking soil. From Florida to New York, the shoreline lost more land than it gained between 1996 and 2011. Flooding along the coast Flooding is becoming increasingly common throughout the United States coastline as sea levels rise. Since the 1950s, every site studied has shown